In today's video, we're going to be jumping out of Eve Echoes as a game and instead looking at something outside of the game that I think is just a little bit controversial. Now, you will have your opinions on this as well. You might agree with me, you might disagree with me, but that's essentially what I want to do today. I want to draw attention to this issue and see what you all think about this. I'm not going to be covering up names or anything. I am going to be simply showcasing everything that I have been shown and giving my own personal opinions on it. If you agree, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. If you disagree, still hit like on the video, but let me know why you disagree. I'm, to say I'm in two minds about this, I'm not really. I'm just more in a case of I want to know what other people think, not just my own opinion. Now, before we go any further, first of all, let's talk about botting in Eve Echoes or in any game in general. Botting is essentially a way to automate processes of the game. In Eve Echoes, this has historically been used for things like mining, creating a script that plays the game for you, sits there, locks onto as many targets as it can, and when it's not firing at something, it then moves to a different target, locks on more, so on and so forth. When it detects someone else on grid, it warps you back out to a safe location. That is how botting works for things like mining. Now, this is completely against NetEase's terms of service. Any Anything that like messes with the game, whether it is different code that you apply to the game or whether it is simply automating processes. This has been a bit of a controversial one. Um, especially with folks using things like Bluestacks or Noxus emulators and things like that, where you can actually set up macros, where it's essentially getting your computer to tap on certain parts of the screen in a repeat. I watched a friend of mine go through an Elden Ring, uh, a section of Elden Ring using a macro as well, where it was basically set up to play the game for him, run forward a few spaces, cast a few spells, teleport back to the grace and just keep going in order to farm um, runes and to level up. Now, for me, this is just, it, it's filth. This is something that should never be allowed in a game. If you're automating a game, what is the point in playing it? And this is probably why I feel so feel the way I do about idle games as well uh, on iOS and Android. Because idle games are just, what is the point in playing a game if you're just going to get a computer to play it for you? Like, you may as well just sit down and watch a film. It's going to be more interesting than watching a game play, a, a, a computer play a game for you. Anyway, those are my points and opinions on botting. Now, what we're looking at today isn't exactly botting in that sense. It's a way of stepping out of the game and getting a bot to do something for you using gameplay footage. So let's talk about this from the beginning, shall we? Nice little preamble out of the way there. I got a message here from Halil Dune on Twitter. If you're not already on Twitter and following me at CPT Benzi, you can find me here when I chat all things Eve Echoes and a lot more besides. Hello, Captain. Tagged you in a flood. Could you please make a video about it? Eve is trying to cover it up. We reported this on the official Discord channels. They deleted the messages we sent in the photos. We want to create public opinion on the issue. Now, I'm going to jump in right now. I don't think Eve is trying to cover it up. The developers don't have a say on like the suggestions channel and the things like that. Um, that's done by the moderators, and it's probably a case of the, they've taken those screenshots and the information. They'll have passed it on, but they'll have deleted it to stop it being so incendiary on the Discord server because they're trying to make sure the Discord server is a place where we can politely talk about things, and that server can sometimes become an absolute cesspit of aggressive behaviour. So they're just, I think, honestly, knowing the mods, I was one up until recently, knowing the mods, I think they're not trying to censor it or trying to cover it up, they're just trying to pass the information to the relevant parties without opening up a flame war on Discord. Anyway, I was tagged in this, I've come to have a look at it, let's actually read the post. I came across something today and I don't think it's legal. We reported this as a corp, but they didn't care about us. They replied automatically. This Discord bot is set as a cheat. It sends automatic notification to you about the ships in your system or to you in other systems. For an example, if you have a ship with a cloak in front of it and the enemy pulls out the carrier from CT, you can give it a boost instantly. Please take care of Eve Echo's authorities. And we've got some screenshots here that have been taken on a phone. I kind of wish these had just been actual clips of a screen so we could get a bit more information. Again, I am not covering anything here. And I know that's going to be controversial to some people. You'd be like, oh, well, why aren't you hiding the names? Because if these people aren't doing anything wrong, then awesome. The names don't matter. If they are doing something wrong, I think it needs to be called out. So we have this Discord here, and you can see on screen a bot currently active in this Discord channel with a list of different 
um, a, a list of different systems. Now, NCREL, I know, is in Immensi, so I'm not sure which corp this is, but I do know the area. And you can see that every time a, uh, a ship lands in system, the, game, uh, the, the bot is capturing the name of the pilot and the ship that they're flying. Now, it's doing this not through any hack in the game, I think. I think what we have here, I'm going to see if I can find another screenshot of it. Yeah, what we've got here is someone who is basically streaming the game on Discord, which you can do using emulators and that. And then the bot is watching that stream and catching that information. It's catching the names and it's reading the ships as they arrive in system. It's just basically a screen capture. Like on my phone, I can open up my, uh, my photo app and using Google Lens, I can scan a document and Google can recognize the text on that and pull it out and then I can copy that into other things. That's what this is doing. It is basically reading the screen, grabbing the information off the screen, and then pinging a channel. And I really don't know how I feel about this. There we are, an actual full screenshot of this one here. You can see the uh, the actual ship that is logged in is cloaked and is watching uh, that system. And as soon as anything appears on that gate in local here, then it picks up the name and the ship type. And then it pings that to the entire alliance um, or whoever's on this Discord here. You can see there are pings here showcasing that these ships are now in system. Now, this could be worse. I'm going to come straight out the gate right now and say this could be worse. And some people I know are going to be watching this and saying, oh, that's not that bad, Benzie. It's just keeping an eye on what's in your local system. Yeah, but information is king in warfare. And this is giving you way too much information with no information required. Because you can take this a step further with no gameplay required. You can take this a step further. Now, every time someone comes into a system, you get the name and the ship. Now, you could get it so that the bot actually takes that name and cross-references it into a, a spreadsheet where it lists every single time that person's come into system and what ship they're flying. So therefore, you now have a list of pilots and the ships they're flying that you can hand to your alliance so that people know what to expect when they see that name in local. That's a lot of information information given away there. You could use this to plot routes, you can put up this up in multiple different systems, and essentially you could actually then take that an even step further. Imagine having these bots on every gate in every one of your systems. Not hard to do if all you need to do is have a tier 5 ship in a covert ops cloak parked on each gate. Very cheap and easy to do, just to set that up and it takes about an hour to reach tech 5 give someone the ship with the fitting, let the bot do its business, and now you have a real-time map of your entire empire, every single gate with every single ship moving in and out of it, and it's not that hard to take that that step further to actually map that out so you can watch where anyone is at any time in your empire. And that, to me, is just wrong. That is so much information for no gameplay at all. There is no way to counter this. It is the lazy man's way of defending Empire Space. And I know I can hear Bradrick watching this in the distance and screaming that if you want this information, you should be setting up patrols. You should have patrols of things like interdictor cruisers, whether that's bellicose or rupture, you know, the light interdictors or the heavy interdictors, maybe even just destroyers and a couple of frigates roaming around, keeping an eye on anyone coming in and out of your space in order to stop them and catch them. That is how the game is meant to be played. Having a bot watch your screen and then just report to your reliance and collecting data like that I haven't read the full terms of services for NetEase, um, for Eve Echoes, because obviously it is like a 300 page document to go through. I know that botting has been confirmed as completely illegal. I feel that any form of data harvesting like this could be a very grey area at the best when it comes to this. Um, it looks like here, this fourth screenshot is where they have sent to the developers. Um, on uh, what's it called on to on uh, in the games through to customer support and the customer support responds thank you for your report after review we were unable to find any abnormal activity worthy of punishment by the reported accounts if you have other proof you could send us and we'll pass it to our review team again be assured that we have an automatic detection system that quickly stops cheating or incorrect behavior in game we're always working hard to maintain a fair and healthy game environment for all our players thank you for your evaluation of our service have a nice day best regards eve echo support 
Now look, I will be the first person recently to give a crap all over the devs um, whenever possible and customer support and things like when anything is going wrong, I'm more than happy to stand up and say, look, yeah, this is really wrong. What they are saying here is actually correct. Customer, so uh, customer service have gone through and had a look at the accounts and there's nothing they can see on their side that shows abnormal behavior. All they're seeing is a ship sitting in station, uh, sitting in a system and just kind of just doing nothing. That's all they're seeing. Because of course this is all happening outside of the game, this is all being done on Discord, which means essentially it avoids all of the cheat detection. The cheat detection that they're talking about in this uh, in this screenshot here of customer service are talking about is basically where the game recognises that the game is playing on a pattern. It sees that the taps are all happening in the exact same area in a similar pattern or it's responding very and unusually abnormally, I think is the way we could put this. Like using that mining bot as an example, you can see that whenever something happens, it taps on the exact same pixels repeatedly. You can see that exact behavior being re responded to at the exact same speeds and in the exact same way. So you can tell it's not a human, it's a computer. Obviously, customer support have checked into this. They will check into this. I can guarantee that. But what they're seeing on their side is just a ship parked in space doing absolutely nothing wrong because this isn't a problem necessarily with the game. This is arguably a problem with Discord. And how do the developers stop this? Eve Echo's developers can't stop this. They can't go to Discord and say, no, sorry, that's not allowed. It, even if the developers themselves, if I were to talk to Cloud or Melos or Lancedot or whoever and show them this, I'm sure they would agree this is cheating because it's getting too much information using tools that were not meant for players. There is a reason we don't have an API in Eve Echoes right yet. And stuff like this is that reason. People are finding ways to get around that lack of API and doing the things that the devs don't want you to do. You can see they are streaming here outside and it is just capturing that screen. What can the developers do about that? It's nothing wrong with their game. How can the game stop you doing this unless the game suddenly blocks streaming, at which point anyone who wants to record the game or stream the game is completely locked out as well? I don't know what you can do about this. I personally feel that this is really wrong, and I'm putting this public so that hopefully this particular alliance, the players involved in this, can look at this and see that I'm calling them out, and I'm hoping others in the community will do the same. If you know who these people are in this screenshot, if you know which corporation or alliance is doing this, I hope you will call it out. I hope we can say to them, look, we know what you're doing, it's wrong, please stop it. The devs may be powerless to stop it, but public opinion on our side has power instead. We have the capability to essentially just tell these people that no, we're not going to be involved in this. We don't want to be part of an alliance or corporation that does this. And nearby foes could go to war with these. I don't know. I don't know what the response here is. I don't know what the answer to this is. But genuinely, it made me feel a little bit sick this morning to see all of this going on. It's a clever use of a, uh, a screen recording bot. I have to give it credit for that. But the application... The application is just sinister. At worst, at its sort of safest level, it's just too much information. Players should not be able to get this kind of information outside of game. You are using external tools to gain an, adva an in-game advantage. To me, that is just wrong. On the other side of things, on a much worse level, it is sinister. This is data harvesting and collection, and that's just too much power, really. I don't know how we resolve this. Maybe some of you have some ideas in the comment section down below, but I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. I want to give a shout out to this. I did promise Halil that I would have a look at it and consider making a video. And the more I've thought about it and the more folks I've talked to to get their opinions of, we all agree the same thing. This needs to be shouted out. This needs to be called out. This is not okay. This is... It may not be cheating as far as the game is concerned, but as far as the community is concerned, I'm pretty sure this is cheating. So if this is you doing this, stop it now, or I don't know what will happen. I don't know what will happen. I'm going to be talking to the developers about this and seeing what their opinions are. I may be back with another video to let you guys know. Otherwise, please let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this. Yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching, folks. Happy sailing and see you in New Eden.